<clears throat> Hello, my legion. I just did that. Uh, oh, the Chips Ahoy Reese's peanut butter cups. I, I had. I did get a cup of milk. This is my ENTA glass, which I won in a contest a long time ago. That's uh, the name of the Erie uh, Transit Authority. Well, that's those cookies are so rich. No, what? Well, I mean, it depends on how many chips there are. Some of them, I mean, they're always going to vary. And I mean, they don't put the amount, same amount of chips in each one as they do in the other ones. So he's talking about richness. But they, they, these are, those are good, but you have to have some milk with them. Uh, and, well, speaking of milk and stuff like that, the one brand in here is uh, Meadowbrook's uh, Fat Free. I usually get Fat Free. I usually get what's cheapest with vitamin A and D. Meadowbrook makes a pretty good product for milk. Well, anyway, that's not why I would. I'm here to you this, but uh, why I decided to make it for dinner. This is ham loaf and uh, from Surefine. Growing up, they used to have this all the time at Surefine. Now, any other, uh, the rest of uh, the supermarket chains around here, I can't find ham loaf in Walmart. I can't find ham loaf in Giant Eagle. I can't find ham loaf in uh, Wegmans. I can't find it at Aldi. And I can't find it at Save I can't find it at Value King. But the only place that has ham loaf is uh, sure fine, and they only have it sometimes. It's getting harder and harder to find. I was lucky Saturday they had a whole bunch. I bought two of them, uh, and it's cool they got the pineapple and the maraschino cherry on top there too. And the one thing is, uh, one of the things about it that's uh, kind of sad is they're expensive. It's three ninety eight a pound. And this was a pound, almost two pounds, and it was uh, this little thing was seven dollars and twelve cents which is expensive though and a couple other two other things I'm going to review on this video is this and it was too heavy to try to photograph it well it's not heavy it's five pounds and this is a uh, Tallman's red potatoes I love Basically, I show this because I love this picture of the red potato guy with a red potato sash and a little scrubber thing getting a shower. And this is Tall Man's Red Potatoes. Where are they from? Uh, from Tower City, Pennsylvania. I never heard of them. And basically, I got a five pound bag for three ninety nine, which isn't bad. Usually they have like uh, other potatoes, but I prefer red potatoes over like white potatoes or Yukon Gold. But I think they have a better taste. Uh, I guess they're a waxier potato, and I'll tell you what, uh, Surefine has great deals on like white potatoes, you can get like a five pound bag for like a dollar eighty-eight, which is really good, but I prefer red potatoes, I think they taste better, and uh, I mentioned this yesterday, I want to review this when I have my dinner, this is sparkling ice, a new flavor, black raspberry, zero calories with vitamin and antioxidants, and uh, pretty much has the same vitamins uh, that the other one does. Vitamin D, vitamin B3, B6, B12, biotin, and B5, 10% each one. And I remember uh, Travis and some other people were saying that no one talks about AMP. And they said AMP's a great line of drinks. And they highly recommend the drinks, even though they might not try all the flavors. Well, I've only tried two of the flavors. I haven't tried this one. This is black raspberry. But, I mean, if you like vitamin water, I suggest you try some of the sparkling ice uh, brand uh, of the different flavors because I had the orange mango and I had pink grapefruit yesterday and they were both really good and they had uh, they had an actual concentrate and this one has blackberry juice concentrate and sounds pretty good and these are available at Walmart for a dollar that's not bad for a 17 ounce fluid can too a vitamin water you know so uh, well uh, later on today that's going to be my, uh, the main dinner for my dad and myself. i got to go out and uh, do the lawn, but I'm going to finish my milk first. So, um, I'll probably film that outside on another camera. So, uh, stay tuned, guys.
Hey, I'm back. This is the the ham loaf and uh, red potato. I got a big red potato that's microwaving there right now. It's I hadn't it wasn't done yet, so I want to make sure. I got the blue bonnet butter on the potatoes, the red potatoes, and uh, sometimes on that ham loaf you can put this Jack Daniels spicy original barbecue sauce is a Great barbecue sauce has Jack Daniels whiskey in it too. I got my sparkling uh, ice there. I thought I'd try the red potatoes first. Back. Mm. Yeah, usually I just uh, microwave these. They're really good. These are delicious. I love red potatoes. Mm. Now that I have the fun part of the ham. And the cherry right there. That pineapple is delicious. And this is the pineapple. Mmm, that's really good. Mmm. Have a little more of this. Mmm. Now I'm going to try some of the ham loaf. Mm. You might have had meatloaf, but if you never had ham loaf, ham loaf is just a gum. Except it's, it's, I mean it's more firm than the meatloaf, but it is absolutely delicious. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. And I put some barbecue sauce on. Not that you need it, but I'm put a little bit on there. Dang it. Mm. That's really good too. Mm. A little bit of light on there too. Mm. That's really good. Mm. Now this is a sparkling ice. It's black raspberry. Yeah, I did, you know, I introduced that. No calories, sparkling ice. Let me try this. i uh, set this down. Let's try this. By uh, Hootie and the Bowfish or somebody. Oh. No, black raspberry is really good. It has that black uh, raspberry juice concentrate in it. It's pretty good. Mm. That's really good. Cover that back up. Mm. Have a little bit more of these Redmond potatoes. Mm. And uh, some more of this ham loaf. Mm. I showed you how the bad lighting is. It's only about 6.45 right now. It's pretty dark. That's why I had to put the light on. So I'm going to shut it off right now. Yeah, before I go, I, I highly recommend the uh, Tallman's Red Potatoes. Sure finds uh, ham loaf. Jack Daniel's Spicy Original uh, Barbecue Sauce. 
uh, sparkling ices, black raspberry, vitamin water. I thought I'd tell you about one last thing. I mowed the lawn and it mowed real nice and clean, but something you gotta watch out for. It's kind of like Mother Nature's uh, dirtiest trick is ground bees, because I never knew these things existed until like uh, on uh, Labor Day weekend. And uh, they got me real good. This is about like eight or nine years ago. And what I did is I had like these uh, little uh, soap uh, dishes from work. They're white. I use them as markers. I put them right to where the hole is. And wait till nighttime, till 10, 11, or when it gets real dark. I pour gas down it. Then I get a lighter and a paper towel. I light the paper towel and then I set it down. And I light, the, light those things up. You just have to, you don't have to use that much gas, but it gets rid of them real good. And then one one time, uh, a couple years back, I had a thing of ground bees. I was going to set them up, and then apparently a raccoon came and dug up the hole. And they, apparently he ate all the honey, so he got rid of the ground bees for me that time. But usually, uh, raccoons are scavengers and they're big pains in the butt but he helped me out that one time so that's cool let me try some more of this delicious food mm. this potato's done there's a giant potato I had right look at that so uh, I'm gonna try this and like I said I highly recommend all this stuff it's delicious see I, I knew a tootie in the bowl blowfish on there my sister likes them. I'm watching the news. Okay. So, mm. I never got put some blue bonnet butter on there and some ground black pepper. So, until next time, take care of my legion. And this is probably the last video for the week. At week, any, anyways. I'll see you in a couple of days. Okay. Take care of YouTube and take care of my legion. Yeah, one more thing. I forgot my knife. I couldn't find my knife. This is my uh, knife I usually like to uh, cut my uh, potatoes. It's a fillet knife. Ooh, that looks cool with the light shining out there. That looks like something out of the Warriors or something. But that's why I like using to cut up my potatoes and stuff. Alright. So I recommend these. I recommend these fillet knives too. So take care of my least. Right. It might be a little while before I update it because I'm watching a really cool 60 Minutes about the giant now crocodile and screwed up credit reports. But I want to just reiterate, this uh, ham loaf and these red potatoes are fantastic. They're really delicious. If you get a chance to get ham loaf, get it. Oh yes. Sparkling ice. Mm. more. Oh, they're good. The design of the Christmas uh, oven mint. And another Christmas oven mint. Well, I said this stuff's fantastic. So, uh, I know I said again, I'm going to take care of my legion, but get this stuff. It's really good. And this sparkling ice if you see any sparkling ice, I haven't tried all flavors, but get it, it's good. So I'm going to try to get some more flavors and review them and see how they are too. So, once again, they get my legion.